gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, all right. Today, we are going to be talking about place value. And no, I'm not talking about places that have value. Chick-fil-A? I'm talking about... Chick-fil-A? About these numbers here. This number, 125. Okay, do you see each plate, each number here? It's in a certain place. Do you see the little boxes I put right here? These numbers are in a certain place and they all have a certain value. Or um, value just means a certain amount. Okay? Value is just another way to say amount. I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put amount right here in parentheses to show you that value just means amount, okay? These numbers are in a certain place and they all represent a certain amount. Okay, for example, let's talk about this here. For example, the five. Do you see that's in this little space right here? Usually to the right. And this is the ones place. Or the ones amount. Okay. And that means that every number right here in this place value in this section right here goes by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine. Just like that. Okay, so all these just go by ones. Okay, I got some ones right here. One, two, just like that, just by ones, okay? The second place value is the number in the middle right here. It's twos. These go by tens. Okay, so the number in the middle, it goes by tens. So that means it goes all by, count with me here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. There we go, that's better. So these all go by tens, okay? And the last place value here I have is the one, and that goes by hundreds. So, each number is in a certain place and it has a certain amount or a certain value. This one goes by hundreds. Let's write that down. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, and 900. Okay, so. Again, this one here goes by ones. Yeah, make it right. Okay. This one goes by tens. Here I have a stack of 10 here. Yeah, money. Okay, this one goes by tens. So you would count each number in the middle by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And the last one goes by hundreds. Here I got a big stack of hundos here. And the last one goes by hundreds. Okay, so one, this number here, 125, each digit is in a certain place and it all represents a certain value or amount. Bonus, a bonus tip right here. We could also have another digit right here. Let's just put like a two right here. This is in the thousands place, the thousands. So I don't have a stack of thousands, but that'd be cool if I did, okay? So ones, tens, hundreds, and the next one would be thousands. Um, something to show you here. Look, the ones go one through nine, there's just one. One through nine, one digit. The tens, it's the same one through nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but it has one zero to it, so it goes by tens. And the hundreds have the same one through nine, but it has two zeros and it goes by hundreds. Just something to be aware of so you can see and recognize the pattern there. Okay, now I have something to tell you. This number right here, 125, can disguise itself um, to look differently. And it's my job to show you the different ways this number can disguise itself. So that way you recognize it and you don't get fooled, okay? The first way or the first form that you might see this number is called word form. Everybody say that with me, word form. Hey, word. Here we have word form. Okay, word form, uh, it's just like you would say it in words. 125. So you would first just write it out like in words, okay? So let's do that with me here, write it down with me. We have one, the number one, okay? And what place value is in it? It's in the hundred, so 100. Next one we have a two, but it's not really a two, it's a, in the 10 spot, it's a 20. 
120 and last number we have a five and it's in the one so it's just a five 125 yeah, there it is there. So that's the first way it tries to disguise itself. Really, this is the same dude, 125, 125. But this is in the number form, and this is in word form. All right. The next way you might see this number that it's going to try to disguise itself, and you need to be ready so that way you don't get fooled, is expanded form. Expanded form. Okay, so, um, do it with me. Expand. I like to do this. I like to expand because he likes to expand himself and show you his real self. He likes to show you his real identity. So here's the number 125, and it likes to expand itself like this. Okay. First thing, it likes to show you his real true colors. The one, what is it really? It is really in the hundred spot. It's really a hundred. So, boom, he likes to show you. Boom, let me get bigger, hundred. The two is really in the 10 spot and it's a 20. And the five is just in the ones, it's just a regular five. Okay, boom. So he likes to expand himself and say, look, this is what I really look like. And you put the little plus signs right here to show that if you add all these up, it equals to 125. So this again is expanded form. Say it with me, expand. Say to the guys, holy moly donut shop. Holy moly donut shop. Very good. You expanded form. And all he's doing is expanding himself to show you his real self. Okay? All right, the next one, the next form that you might see this number, try to disguise himself, is my personal favorite, actually. And this is called build it form. Build it form, or you might know it as base 10 form. So I'm going to put build it slash base 10. Now, in school, you might have seen these. I'm going to put a picture of them up. I don't have any of them right now, but build it form means we get to build it out or draw it out, and that's why it's a personal favorite, okay? So, let's build out the number 125. I'm gonna put it right here. Let's build out this number. So, first we have a one in the hundreds, so we have 100. And you might have recognized these. Bam, okay, it is 100, 100 block. Bam. The next thing we're gonna build out is the tens, okay? And the tens look like this. They're little french fry sticks, I like to call them, the little french fries with salt. So here we have two ten sticks, or two little french fry tens. There we go, 10, 20. And like I said, we have we need our salt and their little little ones. We have five little ones. One, two, three, four, five. Five ones. So there is the build it form. Again, a personal favorite because we get to build it out. We have our 100, our two 10 sticks, and our five ones. Perfect. Okay, and finally, the last way that this number will try to trick you but it's actually not really tricking you. That you might see this number is called standard way or the standard form. And the standard form, don't be fooled or let it scare you. All it is, is just the number regular, 125. It's just the number, just exactly like you see it. It's the standard way to, to write it or to say it, 125. There you go. Okay, so these are, this whole thing is called place of value. Each one of these numbers has a certain amount. And here's the four ways that you might see this number, okay? In word form, expanded form, build it form, or standard form. Don't let it fool you. The next time someone tries to show you this number and it's in word form, you're going to know, oh, wait, I know this number, okay? Or in expanded form or in build it form. 
Okay? So now you know you got the secret. Go ahead and practice and get better. Peace!